Hi guys, Glosswitz Junction again, and today uh, I'm bringing you a review, and it's a review of the Hornby One to One Collection Black Five. And as you can see, it's limited edition of one thousand, uh, and it's a very very nice box. And you can see me, hello. Um, as you can see, it is a very very nice illustrated box. You got some gauge, the gauge on there. Um, I'm not sure what that is, I can't remember what it's called again. Um, I know it's to do with the cab detail. Um, as you can see, it's this loco is at Margate, which is down here, as you can see. Uh, it's also part of the Wand Wand collection, which is also with the Black Five and the Bitten they released. So I want to get them in the future, but for now, I've got this, and it is very nice. And as you can see, there's a hit brief history on it. So if you want to read it, you can pause it. There you go. Um, and over here, you've got some very nice images of it. And that's it stored at Margate. Uh, you can see where it used to, back in the olden days, before it got preserved. Um, and then, yeah, there's not much to it on the underside and on top. You've got your product code which is R3805 and it's DCC ready BR class 5MT, which stands for five mixed traffic, so it can pull passenger or um, like coal wagons freight. And it's as I said, it's part of the one to one collection, limited edition of 1000. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the box. Now that I've gotten into the box, it's not it's just the normal horn packaging, as you can see. Uh it's the ice block packaging. And then there's the loco inside, which is very normal nowadays. Because I know it used to be the polystyrene box from Hornby. Uh I'll put this to one side first, because uh let's have a look. I got this from D Rails and I'll put a link to their website in the description and one good thing about that, before they send you any loco, they do test it for you. And it's been tested by Saul. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, in the box, you also have the certificate of authenticity. I think that's how you say it. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and as you can see, the number, I've got 524 out of 1,000. And it's just basically to say it's a certificate that you've got this loco. So that's nice. And then, like any model railway train, you get a uh, maintenance leaflet. So you've got your general, your routine maintenance, DCC ready. Uh, you open it up, if I can do that. I'll move this out of the way. Get that out of shot. Um, lubrication, which, you know, over years you'll need to do, uh, body removal, so it looks like you have to take one of the pins out of the wheels to actually take it off, otherwise you'll break that little link, and then it also you've got to move the front bogey to get to one of the screws, and it's similar in the tender, you've got to undo the little wire going between the tender and the loco uh, and then you can access that uh, and then you got DCC sound down the bottom which looks like the chips in the tender which is pretty normal for modern locos today then on the back you've got safety notice and yeah just just your normal stuff really what you'd expect so if I put all this back in the box, we will get onto the loco itself. And here she is. She is very, very nice. And it is very tight fit. I can't quite, it's very, uh, it's quite a comfy fit. Uh, you got your bag of bits, so you got your brake rig and uh, looks like you got a weird coupling there. Never seen that style of coupling before, as you can see. Uh, you got your two ladders there. If I move this 
out of the way. Hopefully it can focus on this. Yeah, you've got your two ladders, uh, a spare screw, just in case. And then it tells you here where to put the ladder. So it's like a little thing. If I open this up for you, just be careful because scissors might be sharp. Just do that. And then get into here and take this out for you. Um, yeah, that's basically all I was expecting. It's just to tell you where the ladders go and how to fit the brake rigging underneath the loco. So, and you can only fit these uh, ladders with a minimum of, I'm guessing that's a minimum of 438 millimeter radius curves. Because I know on my Flying Scotsman, uh, I fitted the ladders and they soon came off because I didn't realize that my corners or the ends of the layout was too tight, so they just came straight off. Uh, if I put that over there, we'll get onto the loco now. And here she is. As I said, it's like the normal ice block packaging. Lift that up, and then you get like a uh, plastic key kind of bit of plastic just to protect the loco. And the tender and the loco are connected, so just got to be careful there. Move that out of the way, and here she is, Black 5 by Hornby, it is very, very, very nice, it is, as you can see, now let's take a closer look at it, um, as you can see, you got this very, very, very nice lining on the pistons and on the uh, boiler, Going all the way along, as you can see, and around the number plate, got a nice finish with all them rivets, as you can see, and on top there, it's a very nice finish. Um, I'm not sure if the smoke on top of the cab detail, if that opens, I think it does, yeah it does, it's a bit like the Hornby Class 08, um, as you can see, along the... Uh, so the loco, you've got, again, very nice rivets on where the smoke box is around here. See, I'm not a rivet counter, so I'm not sure if that's the right amount. Um, and then you go underneath the boiler, and you've got very nice details and pipe in there. Um, I'm not sure what this long uh, pipe is. I'm think that might be the injector please put down in the comments if i am correct uh i'm not 100 sure so please don't have a go at me uh you've got a very nice handrail going along here and then you come on top you've got the whistle and then blow i think that's a blow off valve or unless that's a blow off valve just underneath the pistons um but please correct me the one thing I did notice with this loco is on top, I don't know how though, it's got a like oil. And then, as you can see, it's just oily. I did get a cotton bud, because it was along here. I don't know if you can see anything or not, but it was all along here and on the other side as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what Hornby's trying to do there. Um, but... Yeah, just get a cotton bud if you do get this. Let's see if there is any excess oil. Um, yeah, I guess there's a nice chimney there. It's not much to it. Uh, I think you could possibly get away with fitting a smoke generator in there. That'd be quite nice. Um, and because this loco is preserved and in the modern world, it's got the overhead live wire symbol there and there is some sort of plaque i can't quite read it and you've got sprung buffers on all four buffers which i don't know why they do that in double o gauge i know in o gauge they do that because it's very necessary um as you can see you've got a very nice number there nice finish to it which is four three four five sorry 
three seven nine. Don't know why I said as a three. Uh, and then you've got a builder's. I think that's builder's plaque of or where the location of it was built. I think is one A. Uh, I'm not sure where that was. Um, it might be where Margate is. I'm not sure. Put down in the comments again. Um, buffer beam. It's your normal buffer beam. There's no rivets, which I'm not sure if there's meant to be any or not. Um, you got your smoke. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, you got your coupling there. Or, well, it would be a three link coupling or a screw link coupling. I can't quite remember. Um, you got your lamp irons along the front there and on the smoke box door um, and then if we come around the other side it's pretty much the same uh, pretty much very nice linkage underneath all very well done by Hornby um, and there's detail on the small bogey here just along here it's, it looks separately fitted but I'm not sure um, but you got your sand pipes along here, and as you can see, I mean, it's a little hard to do. Uh, you've got these little holes just there and there. That's where the brake rigging goes underneath if it wants to focus. So it would go here, 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 and here, and then last two just there. As you can see, this is what I meant, the wire on the modern loco is going between the loco and the tender for the pickups off the tender, obviously. And it's got quite a bit of resistance on them wheels, as you can hear. Uh, that's where the pickups are, as you can see the copper, con I think it's copper contacts over there. Uh, it's made in China. Um... And then you've got your screws holding the tender together. And you've got an option to make it a closer fit. But I think it's alright how it is. Um, coming round, we've got this, this, this basic detail for a cab. But it's still there, so that's nice. The coal could be a lot better, but I'm not sure if it's removable or not. Just what I normally do is put a layer of PVA glue over and then scatter some coal over, let that dry and then tip it out and then you've got a nice coal load. Uh, come on further back onto the tender, we've got the British Railway sign which is nicely done, very well, it's very crisp with the line and going around the tender which is very well done, there's no mistakes there. Uh, you've got a nice uh, handrails around the cab as well, just along here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I know it's to stop the driver and fireman from falling out onto the rails. Put that down in the comments if as well, because it'd be much, much greatly appreciated. And then you've got a bit of flooring between the tender and the loco here. So when it's gone along, it looks like it's all covered up, so you can't see the wires and connectors. And then... I don't know if I can do it, but you've got some nice detail uh, on the tender just there. Uh, uh, it's not like other Hornby Locos where it has a little pile of coal down here where it would come out, but that doesn't really bother me. He's not going to really see this. Um, again, you've got nice handrails on the other side, which is quite hard to turn around. And again, if it wants to focus, come on please thank you you've got your overhead wires again uh you've got another plaque which if it'll focus it says lms number I'm not sure what number that is and then there's another one just there which reads four thousand i'm not sure if that's four thousand liters in the tender where the water goes in just there with a nice little handle, um, I'm not sure, again, more rivets, exquisite model this is, the amount of detail, I know the camera does not do this justice, 
and where the steps are. I think these are steps on the sides. You got more rivets there, rivets on the buffer beam. Again, like I said, it's all spring buffers. And then you got your um pipe there. Um that's basically all of that. Uh you got your I think that's your suspension arms along there, your axle boxes, and then like with the loco, this is where your brake ridden, rigging goes, where them holes are, and just at the back of there as well. And you've got your normal NEM coupling, like most locos nowadays. Um, the one downside I've noticed with this loco is you've got the silver bits in the middle of the wheels, which I don't know if they're meant to be like that, but it's... It's very obvious when you do see them. You got your sandbox up there, the same up here. It's where your sandboxes are, and it drops down here, it comes out here and here, them too. Um, but yeah, please put down in the comments, uh, like what some of the parts are. I asked, um, be much uh, greatly appreciated, and um, yeah. Now for the main parts. So for the packaging, I it's it's very 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 well illustrated. It's very nice, as you can see. It's something different from Hornby, which is very nice. And then you got your normal like of any loco, you get a brief history and how the loco was withdrawn in twenty eighteen for a full overhaul and that. Um, but it's the normal Hornby packaging with the ice block style, like any loco. So I will give this a eight out of ten. It's it's not the best packaging, but it's very secure. It doesn't move about in there. So that's why I'm going for an eight. The performance of this loco, I will probably. I haven't tested this loco out for myself, but from the videos I've seen on YouTube where they've done run sessions, I will give this probably a 9. It is very, very, very smooth. And obviously you've got to run it in 30 minutes, 30 minutes, sorry, in one direction and 30 minutes in the other direction, if I just bring it into camera. Um, and then... The value for money, Rails of Sheffield was selling this loco for, I believe, £140, I believe, which is about the going price of these sort of things. Uh, but obviously, I got mine from D Rails, which I believe it was £130. So it's a great discount because I know Rails of Sheffield is cheap. But Ten pounds cheaper. I'm not complaining. Bargain price it was, and it was the last one because Rails of Sheffield sold out, and everywhere else is sold out. So, good luck trying to get your hands on one of these because they are flying off the shelves. They did. Um. So for value for money, I would give this. I would say a nine, nine point four, nine point five, because it is a very, very very nice loco and the run and performance is good uh, the packaging's good so it's a win-win situation um, obviously I'll bring you the performance of it when I get my layout running which I guess shouldn't be too long um, I need to get some more few a few more point motors sorry um, but yeah once that's up and running I'll Definitely bring you some videos of this running around there, pulling some coaches and freight. So give you something to look forward to for the future. Um, please put down in the comments what video you want, you want me to see, what you want to see. Because I've got many locos. I've got the Hornby Class 800 I can review. I've got many other locos I can review. So please put them down in there comments um don't forget to like subscribe thank you very very 
very much for watching. Uh, take great care of yourselves because I know it's not the best of times we're in. So stay safe and peace.